Good morning everyone. Today we'll learn how to clean your MacBook, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, removing dirt from the keyboard and connection interfaces. So you'll need a piece of cotton like this. Make sure it doesn't decompose into particles easily because they may be hard to remove then. A toothpick that will help you to access cluttered spaces. You can use a swab, it's way much better, but I unfortunately don't have any swab. And finally, you need to clean water. I use this water spray which is totally harmless for your MacBook. It's mostly used for hydrating dry surfaces. So it's just like normal water. I prefer to use it because of the spray function that can help you to control the amount of water you're applying on the Mac. Firstly, turn off your Mac. Do never clean your MacBook with liquid substance without turning it off. Then, roll the cotton around the toothpick so that it will look like a swab and use the spray to make it wet. But not too wet, rub it on a wet cloth to remove the water excess. Now, apply it gently between keys and pay attention not to damage them. Take your time, remove all dirt. It may take time considering to the dirtiness of your keyboard. Then spray water on the whole keyboard. Once again, pay attention. Do not put water on your keyboard if you do not have a thin spray. And now, Use a cotton to decrease the amount of water and dry it with a clean cloth. That's it, your keyboard is now clean. Let's come to the screen, spray water on it and use a clean cloth to dry it. Do not use cotton because particles may stay on the screen and can be hard to remove them. Now let's move to ConnectX. Use a swab to remove the dirt in them. Do not bend the pins. Just gently clean them and make sure the cotton doesn't get stuck in. Otherwise, you may experience connection issues. Finally, clean the outside of your MacBook with a clean cloth and water. Dry it and you'll be okay. Now, your MacBook is clean from the outside. Next time, we'll learn how to clean the system with Clean My Mac. Subscribe, like, and comment. See you then.